In this video, we will cover some of the basic operations of the Orenco control panels. Topics will include differences in timed versus on-demand pumping operations, identifying high and low level alarms, and the functions of an HOA switch. Before proceeding, please be sure to watch our videos on panel identification, reading your wiring diagrams, and MVP navigation as they will provide additional information not covered in this video. Orenco Systems control panels operate in one of two modes either on-demand pump operation or time dose pump operation. In on-demand operation, the pump will turn on or off based on the position of the pump floats. When the pump on float is in the up position, the pump will energize and will not turn off until the pump off position is reached. Or the liquid level in the tank causes the pump off float to reach the down position. In a time dose mode, the pump on off float is replaced with the timer on off float. When the liquid level in the tank raises the timer float to the up position, it will energize the timer rather than the pump and begin the timer off cycle. This happens for two reasons. First, we want to allow a resting period between pump events to allow the drain field to work properly. And second, we want to avoid pump chatter or rapid cycling, which can shorten the life of the pump motor. After the pump off cycle has elapsed, the timer will engage the pump and go through the pump on cycle. When this cycle is complete and if the timer float is in the down position, the pump will shut off. If the timer float remains in the up position, the pump off cycle will begin again. All Orenco Systems control panels have an override switch allowing maintenance providers to bypass normal panel operations. This three position switch is usually left in the auto position. This allows the panel to operate in its normal standard mode. The middle position, off, cuts off power to the pump and keeps the panel from operating when the service provider is working with the system. The last position, manual, bypasses normal panel operation and immediately supplies power to the pump. The pump will continue to operate until the switch is moved to the off position or the redundant off float, if applicable, drops and sounds the alarm. If no redundant off float is present, the pump will continue to run until the tank is empty. Please note that if the control panel is equipped with a redundant off or RO float, the panel must verify that the float is in the up position before the pump will engage, even in the manual mode. High and low level alarms serve as a warning and are an integral part of the Orenco control panels. While every MVP and VCOM panel has a high level alarm, not every electrical mechanical panel has a low level alarm. Please check to see whether your panel has a low level alarm. If the panel model number contains the letters RO, your panel includes a low level alarm. If it does not, then all alarms will be high level alarms. If the alarm does occur, the push to silence button on the face of the panel will illuminate. For all MVP panels, the light will flash for a low level alarm and remain solid for a high level alarm. For all electromechanical panels with the RO feature, there is no visual indicator to differentiate between the two alarms. You will need to remove the riser lid and visually inspect the level in the tank to determine if the alarm is a high level or low level alarm. If you have any questions or need help performing any of these settings, please contact our customer service department at 1-800-348-9843, Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Time.